Coromon is a monster taming game that's very obviously inspired by Pokemon. There are turn-based battles, types and weaknesses, status effects, evolutions, tall grass full of monsters, and of course, three starter Coromon to choose from. But while Coromon stays true to the core gameplay, it also takes a fresh approach to the genre by adding some interesting features. One of the first differences you'll notice is that this time you're not trying to become the best trainer. You're a battle researcher tasked with defeating titans. Titans are these very strong Coromon that await your arrival at the end of each of the six major zones. So while crossing dungeons, plains and cities, you're always trying to build the perfect team to counter the titan's powers. Combat will feel very familiar to anyone who's ever played a similar game. Coromon can attack once per turn and will gain experience for every fainted enemy. They can hold items, get buffs and debuffs, and depending on their level, there are up to four moves to choose from. But unlike Pokémon, they never forget a move they learned, so it's always possible to swap these out in between battles. Another difference is that each move costs a certain amount of stamina, and there's no limit on how often they can be used. To regain SP points, you can either use items or skip a turn. The biggest and most interesting variation is the potential system. Every time a Coromon gains experience, two separate bars fill up, the XP and the potential bar. One levels up all stats, while the other one lets you add points to individual stats. However, depending on their potential, some Coromon learn faster than others. Their potential value can range from 1 to 21, and determines if they are a standard, a potent, or a perfect Coromon. The more potential a Coromon has, the more powerful it can grow. Just like with Shinies, it feels great to encounter a rare monster. And the best part is that with this system, you can always be sure that they're superior to their differently colored standard versions. Overall, there are about 120 creatures, each of which is either a normal, fire, ice, water, electric, ghost or sand type. In addition to that, there are six skill types that only appear in the form of moves. So, for example, you can have a ghost type with ghost, foul and magic skills. Apart from catching monsters and combat, there's a lot to do in the Belua region. Some NPCs you meet along the way are part of the main story. Others send you off on side quests. There are hidden chests to find, rewarding in-game achievements to fulfill, and each area has one or more unique features often in the form of puzzles. There's a lot of variety in these puzzles, which is great because it changes things up, but unfortunately some overstay their welcome. Besides, not everyone appreciates a stealth section or puzzles that require logical thinking and quick reflexes in a game like this, especially since they are part of the main story and can't be skipped. In all other regards, Kormon is very accessible though. You don't have to look stuff up online because everything is explained in-game. You can see which Kormon can be caught in each area, check which types of skills your team members will learn at certain levels, look into enemies' weaknesses during battles, get access to teleporters early on, and tune the game's difficulty to your liking. On the easiest difficulty, Kormon fully restore their HP when leveling up and can be revived with any healing item, while on the hardest difficulty they will be permanently released when they faint, and you can only catch one creature in each area. It's also possible to significantly spice things up with custom rules, like limiting the amount of items you can use each battle, randomizing evolutions, or being able to catch Trainer Karamon, all of which are good reasons to replay the game. With its challenging boss fights, loads of customization, catchy soundtrack, excellent world and monster designs and varied puzzles, Coromon is an easy recommendation for anyone who likes monster taming games and wants to feel a bit nostalgic. Thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and let me know what you think of this game in the comments below.